In this problem, we've been asked a series of things about this graph here. And so that means I'm going to start by drawing the parent function log base 3 of x. But that's the inverse of this exponential equation, so I'm going to really start there. 3 to the 0 power is 1, and 3 to the 1 power is 3, and 3 to the negative 1 power is 1 third. So that'll allow me to draw some of these. Now I'm going to switch these x and y to draw my log. The x becomes the y and the y becomes the x. So at 1 third, I'm negative 1, 1, 0, 3, 1. I'll draw all those three points. Here's my 3, 1. Here's my 1, 0. And here's my 1 third, negative 1. And now I'm going to do all the transformations. Well, this is saying right 2, and this is saying up 1. So I'm going to do both of those together. Right 2, up 1. Right 2, up 1. Right 2, up 1. And my asymptote also moves over to the right 2. So I can draw this now. Where this is the point, 3 comma 1. And this x-intercept was important. It used to be the point 1 third comma negative 1. But when I move this right 2, I'm adding 2 to 1 third. So this x-intercept is now 2 and 1 third comma 0. And that's one of the things I was looking for. The x-intercept is 2 and a third comma 0. The domain, well, once we drew that vertical asymptote, I know my domain is now x is greater than 2. The range is all real numbers, because I go down and up forever. The equation of the asymptote was that x equals 2. That was the equation of my asymptote. Got the domain. I've got the x-intercept. If you were asked for a y-intercept, notice we never get there, so there would be none. 